What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm basically going to show you guys how our recruits set up their sleeping area for inspection. You are going to be doing inspections every morning when you're on BMQ. So I'm going to show you guys how they set up their sleeping area. And uh, so it gives you guys a, an idea of how what's going to happen on either full-time or part-time uh, BMQ course. But before we get into that, I want to give a shout out to all those who have subscribed to the channel. You know, bravo Zulu to you guys. If you're new to this channel, welcome aboard. Hopefully you get to uh, check out some of my videos. Uh, it's basically everything you need to know about the Army Reserves. Make sure you guys are checking out the playlist. I have a lot of videos out there. It's got a lot of information for you. So please do check out the playlist. Make sure you have your notification bells on so you know when I post more and informative videos. So let's get into this video. Okay guys, uh, as you can see here, I'm using the cot that I'm uh, sleeping on uh, as an example. So you guys can see how the recruits set up their, their cots for inspection in the morning. So we're gonna start from the foot of the bed and then we're gonna move our way up to the head. All right, so you would have, I'm gonna get a little lower here. You'll have your running shoes and a pair of shower flip-flops, okay, set up as as you see here if you have laces on your your shoes you gotta make sure they're tucked in and you have your shower flip-flops that you have to wear also with the standard nato cot we have here you're gonna get straps so your straps have to be can't see this one because of the towel but that's what it looks like that strap has to be tucked in nice and neat okay moving up here is the uh, towel and that is your toiletries. That is how your toiletries will be set up. Your towel will be folded, a bit hanging over the end of the cot. Your, your toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, body wash, shaving cream, and your razor will be evenly spaced. You're gonna be taught that on your BMQ, how to evenly space your toiletries for inspection. All right, let's move up. Okay, from this end, if you guys can see here, I'm using my small pack. Your small pack will be at underneath the ends of your bed, closest to the, your, the foot. All your straps will be tucked in nice and neat uh, because we will be inspecting and making sure that uh, that happens. Moving up to the top of the bed. Okay, you're gonna have your sleeping bag here, your liner your uh, sorry your inner so you will always use your inner for your inspection and that's what you're going to sleep in you'll have your tactical vest here all the buttons all the buttons and the clips are done up your zipper has to be done up there's three buttons they have to be secured right um nothing should be hanging out there should be no strings or anything hanging out you're gonna have your helmet your helmet will, the chin strap will be done up on your helmet. I'm just using mine with the scrim, but uh, for BMQ, you, you're not gonna have a helmet cover or any scrim, it's just gonna be plain green. And it's gonna have your name tag on the front and the back. So your tag vest has to be done up nice and neat. It's gonna be placed properly on your sleeping bag. Okay, and with your sleeping bag, right? Your sleeping bag's going to be uh, done up and depending on which way the staff wants it, the zipper will be facing either left side of the wall or the right side. It just depends, okay? You will get two duffel bags, okay? So both your duffel bags will be at the head of the cot. Uh, the duffel bags will be buttoned up. The straps, if you guys can see here, will be done up. And for your duffel bag, your two du for your two duffel bags, plus if you get a uh, barracks box, you're gonna need locks. So you bring three locks to uh, your courses because you have to secure all your kit, okay? Your cot here has to be cleaned, right? So you have to make sure your cot is clean at all times. Um, if you have a civilian bag, you can um, have that civilian bag either next to your uh, duffel bags or you could have your civilian bag here. 
right? Here's the top of your sleeping bag. Like I said, so zipper's done up, right? And it's facing in that direction to the closest wall. Your duffel bags will pretty much be tucked in a little bit. They wouldn't be sticking out as much. Now, when you get your, your rifle, your rifle will be broken down. It will be a basically, basically opened. So the upper receiver, your rifle will be here, and then the lower receiver will be there. And then you take out your bolt, and you have your bolt parts laid out here. I, I don't have a, a weapon with me, so I can't uh, set that up. I can't show you guys how it's set up. Okay, so pretty much that is how your sleeping area is going to look. Right, it's gonna be nice and neat. It's gonna be ready for inspection. Now, with the, you, the toiletries, you will use your toiletries. Um, in the past, what happened is a lot of students would have um, their, they'd have sec a secondary set of toiletries. So basically inspection toiletries, but now they have to use toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, body wash, everything here. Uh, bring disposable razors if you have. It's better because you can use your disposable and replace it. If you use your shaving cream, it has to be clean. Your body wash, same thing, or your uh, soap in a soap, box, uh, soap dish, it has to be clean, deodorant. So everything you lay out for inspection has to be clean also. So you gotta make sure you do that at all times. Your running shoes, you can mine a little bit dirty, but your running shoes should be clean. Like I said, your laces should be tucked in. Um, also around your sleeping area, Okay, prior trust showing up for inspection has to be swept. So you're gonna sweep your area, You, if you can, you're gonna mop it. So pretty much that is it. This is what uh, your typical setup for an inspection looks like. And that you're gonna do that every morning you get up after PT, uh, you're, gonna be, you're gonna have your kit ready for inspection. Also your uniform as part of the inspection, your uniform is gonna be clean. There's gonna be no strings hanging off. Your braid is gonna be nice and uh, formed. There's gonna be no lint on your braids because we're gonna inspect everything. And if you fail to do something, we're gonna notice and we're gonna bring it up with the course. All right, guys. So I hope you guys like this quick video that I put together on how your sleeping arrangement is prior to inspection. Just for those who are going onto your BMQ or preparing to go on your BMQ, be prepared, you're going to be doing this. All right, and we will let you guys know if everything if everything is correct or incorrect, all right? So thank you very much for joining me, guys. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe. Make sure you have the indicator bell on. Uh, give me that big thumbs up if you like this quick video for you guys I put together. Okay, also make sure you guys continue to comment in the comment section. There's gonna be more uh, Q&A videos coming up. Uh, eventually, um, I will do a live Q&A, but I will let you guys know on the channel. So thank you very much guys for joining me and I'll catch you guys in the next video.